so hi guys welcome to my new video so in today's video i'm going to upload or you can say flash excel experience 9.0 room on my zigu z2 plus so actually i was going to upload a full review of pixies os version 2.4 on my youtube channel around some days ago but the problem was i was getting a boot loop and what i got was a uh, blue screen instead of uh, uh, actually uh, working room uh, when I was trying to restart my phone and what I needed to do to get uh, rid of that problem was to flash a new ROM so what I did was I flashed the pixel experience uh, on my phone and uh, sorry guys I don't think so I will be able to upload a full review of my pixies OS 42.4 but I'm going to uh, give you some highlights I, I can say the points I gathered from the review and I was going to show you them show it to you so here are some of the points and the first one is usb tethering was not working well so actually i was not able to connect my uh, smartphone to my laptop uh, i don't know why but actually it was not showing up on my laptop uh, the drivers were installed but it was not showing up charging indicators were not working as well they were not displayed on the lock screen it was displaying sometimes and sometimes it wasn't actually so it was a, a, a small issue wi-fi was disconnecting and it was a, a minor issue but i would like to convey you that PUBG charge was over 20%, uh, the gameplay is fine, you can play, but the charge is just more than I can afford, you can say it like that. Geo network is fine, layout is fine and fluid, no stutters, no lags. Uh, charging is fine and pass, uh, charge around in one and a half hour. Charging doesn't work while uh, using intensive, doing intensive tasks while playing PUBG or, uh, you know, exporting a video, the charging doesn't work that fast, you know, due to hitting issues. Battery life is good and great. It is around uh, five to six hours of SOT, and I can say you can uh, use it as, stable, as a stable room. But still, it needs uh, needs to be updated, and there are some uh, minor or major bug fixes they need to do. So likely you can install it for trying it up. Uh, so you can see you can use it as a stable room. Fingerprint and home button not working uh, for around five minutes after a small uh, after restart is actually a major issue. You know you need to actually. Just put your phone down and do nothing about it for around three to four minutes, at least five minutes, because your phone, your home button will not work after you restart your phone every single damn time. Uh, I I don't know why it was happening. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue, but it is an issue, and it's uh, not a good thing for anyone who is going to use his phone. Obviously, after restart, you are going to use your phone. Uh, you know, just after restart, but it was a problem for me because you know my home button itself was not working. Swipe right, swipe left, home button, nothing was working. I don't know why, but it was an issue. So these are the some points which I would like to convey you to you about the Pixies version 2.4. So now I'm just going to show you the problem. The problem was uh, my screen was uh, just got black, and I was not able to restart my phone. So I just needed to flash my new Pixel experience, and uh, I was not able to upload the Pixies version 2.4 review. So now we are just going to boot into recovery. Uh, you know, uh, wipe the data, then select the files and then flash it. So now, just we are going to uh, you can see click on the wipe button. Um, here is the info and wipe button. We click on wipe, advanced wipe. Do do follow the steps uh, shown here. Okay, going to advanced wipe. As you can see, I was not able to get a focus. Okay, advanced wipe. Then we catch catch system data and uh, vendor if you want to do it. And uh, if you want, uh, do not click on internal storage or it will wipe out all of your data. Now swipe it so the data will be wiped. Okay, so do this process and then. After uh, this process is done, you need to select your files from the folder which you will put uh, your ROMs into. So now going to install, I am just going to select my files. So you know, uh, thing with Pixel Experience is it does come with a Gaps uh, Mini installed in it. Not a Gaps Mini, but just the basic, the basic version. Basic means the smallest version of uh, Google Apps is actually pre-installed in Pixel Experience. So if you want to install uh, the new uh, the Gmail and YouTube uh, applications, so you can install them uh, through sideways or you can just uh, install the Google Apps Mini 9.0 uh, which I am going to link, uh, link it in the description below and you can uh, flash it. 
but actually I did flash my uh, I, I actually did it here you can see I'm going to flash pixel experience and then I'm going to flash Google uh, gaps uh, 9.0 mini but what happened was I was not able to get access to my keyboard I flashed it uh, uh, the phone started but I was not able to get uh, to my keyboard the only button I was able to use was a voice command so what I needed to do was I just uh, uh, flashed again I uh, did the whole process again I flashed my pixel experience and this time I didn't flash the uh, gaps 9.0 mini and what I got was a fine working keyboard I don't know wh why the, uh, did that happen why I wasn't able to get access to my keyboard but if you want to try go ahead try it uh, do uh, if you want to flash Google uh, Excel experience and Google 9.0 mini gaps you can do both and then do tell me in the comment section what happened to your phone is it working well or is there any bugs in between uh, do comment do uh, share uh, some comments uh, the comments down below because I would like to know uh, your reviews about it So now as you can see open gaps mini uh, is actually uh, started flashing on our phone you know it's a good thing when uh, a rom developer has actually flashed uh, you know pre have pre-installed gaps in their rom itself but you uh, I, uh, I would like to tell you that this is the lowest or you can say the basic version of the gaps mini means the only thing installed in this is going to be the Google Play services and just kind of normal apps which you need in your daily routine. Now Gmail, YouTube, Maps and kind of applications are not going to be installed on your phone. You will need to sidely uh, download them from uh, the Google Play Store itself. So if you want to likely flash uh, Google Apps, Google, Google Gaps 9.0, you should do that. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you may get the error of volume uh, the keyboard it might be it might be just uh, that I'm the one who just got that error you may uh, you know get a full flash working keyboard I don't know what may happen but uh, but if you want to try please do try do flash Google experience uh, pixel experience wrong and then do flash uh, gaps 9.0 mini do tell me in the comments down below what happened to your phone now actually i'm going to do a pubg gameplay on this one and i will try to upload a full review about it in around three to four days i'm actually my college has started and i'm busy with it so i'm uh, actually working on the uh, kind of stuff around and so you know a bit of busy schedule i'm trying to learn android developing and we'll try to develop custom roms in future and we'll try to review them on this youtube channel so stay tuned for that uh, i don't know around in some months i will try to so I'm still working, learning Java and learning Android development and Android Studio. I might just start to develop prompts in around some time.
so now as our phone has flashed the, the rom and pixel exp pixel gaps so now i just wiped it now we are going to install twrp as normal uh, system app and then swipe it now you can see our phone has started and uh, as you can see uh, if uh, your phone doesn't uh, reboot you can use the power button as a uh, force restart just press the power button for around 15 or seconds or more and your phone phone will reboot automatically so you can say it is a force restart or force reboot button so you know the reboot may take around uh, 15 minutes likely but you know in a uh, this rom it may take around uh, you know 10 minutes at least 10 minutes of normal time uh, is you know around uh, when you flash your rom for first time so you know might be might be it's not a it's just an assumption it's, it might take around 3 minutes might be 6 minutes or might be even 10 minutes on your rom but you don't need to do uh, you don't need to go panic about it that your rom is not working or something like that uh, you know there is not going to be in the boot loops might be there be boot loops no uh, you know in a software thing you you can't be assured about most of the stuff because you know you can get a boot loop blue screen blue screen or anything between as i as, as i just told you uh, in the video earlier that i just got a boot loop i was just restarting my phone and i just got a boot loop it was another thing i just got a boot loop uh, from nowhere like i was i wasn't even ready i was like uh, how did I get uh, got a boot loop? It, you know, it was a thing like I was not just even expecting a boot loop right there because I was just restarting my phone normally. Now you know, uh, as uh, you can see, I'm I will not be able to uh, upload a review on Pixel version 2.4. So you know, sorry for that, but I will try to you know full review it, full review my Pixel experience, experience as soon as possible. And if you notice that i have not uploaded a full review on aos ip 9.0 also you, you know i got a footage for that i am also going to upload the full review of aos ip 9.0 also in the coming in the next week so stay tuned for that now not to bore you about the process i will tell you nothing else is going to appear on your phone this is the only google logo which will appear on your phone and then it is just going to restart so you know just get to the uh, you know main page so now uh, so you know, our, our phone uh, is flashing going to process start is on the end and, and this is the uh, flashing process is, so, so as, as you can, can see our phone is starting process is and this is where so you know you, you do need ends. to follow the steps so do follow the steps to get the flashing process perfectly done and now you will be able to experience excel experience 9.0 rom on your phone so just uh, wanted to show you some of the you know earlier uh, reviews about it so as you can see the toggle menu is perfectly the same so as you can see still uh, need to finish my setup uh, the system buttons as you can see the gesture and stuff is around here you know there is not a, a single functionality option uh, in the settings menu everything is in the uh, system and uh, uh, system right there in option as you can see a notification bar and everything is same uh, you know it's not much difference um, yes you can see the setting the it, there is not much difference uh, the swipe button oh i would just like to tell you the one of the most important key things around here if you're if you want to use your home button you want to swipe left swipe right swipe do something about it what you need to do is please go and do register your fingerprint now if you're not going to register your fingerprint you will be not able to use a home button i don't know it may be a thing but i was not able to use my home button uh, i was not able to go back to go recent i was not able to do anything and as soon as i just registered my first fingerprint i was able to do that so it might be a bug or i don't think it's a bug but it might be but i what i uh, i just told you what i experienced so do go and reg register your fingerprint before you are going to use your home button as normally and likely that's the thing uh, about it uh, you know you, as you can see I'm, I'm, the gaps is not installed and you might install the gaps mini here so that's it for the review please go share and subscribe and hit that bell icon and do comment down below which type of videos do you want to watch next